Okay, this is uh, our next session this uh, evening. So we will uh, again continue with our subject, uh, understanding the self. Understanding the self. Uh, okay, so we are talking about the self in the family. Okay, we, okay. So we discussed a while ago about uh, um, about our self in the family. Now, human beings learn the ways of living and therefore their self hold by being in a family. How kids are read, read by a kind of reflect their behavior and attitude. Some attitudes and behavior may be indirectly taught through rewards and punishments. Others, such as sexual behavior or how to confront emotions, are learned through subtle means like the tone of the voice or intonation of the models. Without a family, biologically and sociologically, a person may not even survive or become a human person. One is who he is because of his family, for the most part of himself. So, so very important, very important. Ha, please, we have to check this one. It's very important to understand a child inside the family or even you because we were raised all of us we were raised in a family okay we were raised in a family uh, the problem sometimes it, it depends on how our parents raise up uh, you know uh, there are many children who were raised by their auntie and uncle some children were raised up by their grandfather and grandmother or other uh, family. So it's very hard for the child. No? Now let's talk about let's talk about the gender and the self. So gender is one of the lucy of the self that is subject to alteration change and we have observed how some people fought hard to express validate and assert their gender rights conservatives frown upon this and insist on the biological from the point of view of the social sciences and the self it is important to give one the leeway to pine, express, and live his destiny. This forms part of selfhood that one cannot just dismiss. Okay. Uh, well, there is, uh, I think they are... Uh, uh, they want to, um, there's a yes, I don't know it's already approved. There is a suggestion now in the law that uh, if you are still a baby, so uh, don't, don't say that you are a mo woman or a man. So the, uh, according to that provision of the law, there is a certain years and you will make a decision whether you are a female or a male when we talk about gender and self. Okay? The problem today, well, uh, well, because we, we know this already, so we have already the so-called uh, gay and the t-bird. Okay? We have the gay and the t-bird. Well, 
Uh, I, I believe there is no T-bird here and there is no gay, right? All of us belongs to male or female. There is no third gender here. Okay? Um, could you imagine? Uh, I, I asked one gay, a beautiful gay, beautiful, you know? And I asked, and he, no, no, he, no, he, he gave me this word. He gave me this word. God made a big mistake because he put the soul. No, no, no. I said, he said, he put a woman in the body of a man. He put a woman in the body of a man. So God made a mistake. Could you imagine? God made a mistake according to him. Because he put the uh, he put the man in the woman's body. The T-bird, the T-bird. He put the woman inside the body of a man. That is the T-bird. The other side is he put the man no, in, he put the woman inside the body of a man. The other versa is he put the man in the body of the woman. Now, what can you say about this? Uh, okay, we are just talking about our idea. We are not here to destroy the gay. We are not here to say any negative to this uh, T-bird and gay. We are just studying about gender and self. But... Uh, <laughs> nowadays, 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 this is rampant, especially in Europe. It's very hard to understand. Could you imagine? I told you last week, a woman married her dog. Officially, officially, huh? Not only hearsay, with documents. Now, let's talk about the gender and the self. Because there are many gay now. There are many there are many T bird now. What can you say about this? Because we're talking about the gender and the self. So there is confusion for, for for them there is confusion. When they go inside when the gay go inside the um, comport of, of, of comport room of the of the man, oh it's very hard because they are wearing the dress of a woman. Could you imagine? So what can you say about this? About the gender? What can you say about this? I, I think even in Korea, there are many gays also and t -bird. What can you say about this? This term uh, here in Korea, so many. Sir, uh, yes. uh, Mamper, go ahead. Go ahead physically, Mamper. physically, is you cannot change the gender physically, but emotionally, sir. Okay. Emotionally, <laughs> uh, you can change your gender. Like I am a boy and I'm a girl, <laughs> right, sir? Because yeah. that created only a man and a woman. But the problem, the problem is this: that I, I saw in the television that they are um, richer than the real girl. What do you think? They have boobs. Oh, uh, the boys. <laughs> The pigeons, yes, they are prettier than the women. What can you say about that? Mame, what can you say about that? Yes, Doc. I met once, two years uh, ago, the real, uh -huh. the real man, the real gay who have a boobs, a, a, a sexy body, but the voice cannot change. Uh -huh. she, yeah. um, he's, he is already a she, so now he, she is very sexy. She is very pretty, but the voice kind of changed. Strong. I'm not against. Yeah, I'm not against the the third gender. I love the gays. I like gays because they are happy to to talk or to <laughs> bathing with. Yeah. But about the gender, maybe maybe because as you said, like before this, that maybe about the family background or the environmental. The meet people from the young age that uh, hindi naman daw nakakahawa, nasakit ang pagiging gay right. or lesbian. But uh -huh. I think it is. 
for me, for me, for my own opinion, I think it is. Uh -huh. Because if you are a gay, then you have a couple, a couple, a same gender, like uh, you are both uh, born by a male or by a man. So you are both gay for me, for me, you are both gay. So mm. I think even though you are a straight and then your girlfriend is a gay, then after a day or when you're separated already, you will find another gay, not a girl. So I think it's, <laughs> I think it's transferable. <laughs> But uh, you, you know, this is our problem. Okay, okay. We're talking about today, not not yesterday. Well, uh, in other countries, it is legal already to marry the male and the male, and the female and a female. It is legal in other countries. Actually, in the Philippines, some are doing this in the Philippines. There are some priests or ministers who are officiating the marriage of these people. Um, uh, we have one congresswoman from Bataan who is the one um, initiating this law. No? So, but actually, you will see in Europe. America and other countries, oh, this is rampant already. This is rampant. So, because we know it very well that from the very beginning, even in the Bible, that God created man, oh no, sorry, sorry, God created Adam and Eve, not Steve. Okay? <laughs> he created Adam and Eve, not Steve. Okay? <laughs> Our problem. To, well, well, I... Um, they are drinking uh, some medicine to uh, beautify their body. Okay? Surgery, sir. Surgery. Ah, sir, number one is surgery, right? Yes, sir. So, they are removing their... Uh, their property changing into a, a woman's property. Uh, so, but I heard, no, 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 please. I heard a gay, she is crying. She is crying because it's too painful when somebody use her. It's too painful because that is not normal. Not normal. And yet, and yet, you see, you see, uh, even in the Philippines, eh, in the there, there is a lot, there is a lot. So, um, could you imagine a, a man, a man, a man, you know, yung, a man who have uh, a gay child? So he hate this much, he hate this much, but when this. Uh, gay turn into a man and he is the one supplying he is the one he is the breadwinner of the family the father changed his thinking and he accepted because he is the gay is the one taking care of them the money and everything and um I think it's normal nowadays. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? And even other countries, right? Hmm? Normal, yes, to, normal, yes, to those, normal to those who can accept, but some, some, there's uh, some family that cannot accept that family members yes, or siblings. But yeah, I think it's normal. Normal if we can accept. It's not normal if we cannot if we are not an open minded. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, because okay. Uh, for me, it's very hard to say something against them, because they are also human beings. Okay, they are also men and women. Although the difference only is they are thinking that they are not real men. They are they are women inside the body of a man. <laughs> Don't you imagine? <laughs> okay. Ma'am Rugina, what can you say? Hmm? Um, 
maybe as uh, as the world changes uh -huh. as of now uh, a lot a lot of countries it's already accept that that case sir yes ma'am yes ma'am um, but because, yeah go I ahead think, but go ahead. but i think we can say it's uh, fully normal because mm -hmm. as, as you as you said that uh, God create Adam and Eve, not Steve. <laughs> <laughs> not Steve, not Steve. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, yeah, especially in Europe, especially in Europe. Um, that's why they say they said in Europe and other in America. Jesus Christ is not a man. Jesus Christ is a woman. That's why her name is Krista. Krista. Okay. <laughs> Krista. Could you imagine? So Jesus Christ is a woman. He is, she is Krista. Krista, ha? Krista. Hindi Christo. Could you imagine? So, uh, again, brothers and sisters, um, this, okay, um, and it's, you know, it's very hard to counsel these people. It's very hard. It's very hard. For example, um, he is already 30 years old and he is a gay for 30 years old. It's very hard to change his identity. It's very hard to change his mindset. It's very hard to change his philosophy. The way he walks, the way he speaks, it's very hard to change. So uh, again, um, we are just talking about this, about the gender and the self. Okay? Uh, I think we agree that they said, this is not my fault. Okay? According to them, this is not our fault. Now, one maneuvers into the society and identifies himself as who he is by also taking note of gender identities. As part of the culture, there are roles which are expected from a particular person based from his sex or gender. However, a slight changes have been observed on the way due to feminism and lesbian or gay or bisexual and transgender. We call that uh, LGBT. When you say L LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. Activism, but for the most part, particularly partially has remained to be at work. Okay? Um, so, we are now living in this kind of world that men and a man or man and a man living together as husband and wife and they bought one dog as their child. Listen, a man and a a man and a man living together as husband and wife, and they bought a dog as their child, or cat as their child. What what kind of family is this we are living? Okay. So we're just LGBT talking about family. <laughs> well, well, okay. Um, well, okay. So uh, we are just talking about this because we want to understand ourselves. Okay. We, will, we must understand ourselves. So now let's talk about the anthropological perspective of the self. The uh, anthropological perspective of the self. Now, let's talk about, uh, now, when we say CILO, course intended 
learning outcomes. So we we are uh, we are talking about the up outcomes of this uh, subject. So first we have to articulate what culture means to the self as part of the society. Analyze the anthropological and sociological constructs of the self. Attribute self-understanding and behavior to cultural factors. You know, that's why I told you a while ago that it depends whom or what family you were raised up. What family you were raised up. For example, you were raised up in a remote area or in the mountain. So you will check the upbringing of the child. If the child were raised up in a squatter's area, that the father is a snatcher, the mother is a snatcher, what will be the child? The child will become a snatcher also. Have you checked this? A politician, a politician, and the, at the end of the day, you will see that their children will become also the politician. Okay? Uh, a teacher, he, he wants or she wants her daughters and uh, or children to become teacher also. Okay? That, that that that's where we will we will raise up okay so again the we will continue with our lesson this evening let's talk about the social constructionism social constructionism is a theory of knowledge and sociology and communication theory that examines the development of jointly constructed understandings of the world that form the basis for shared assumptions about reality. The theory centers on the notion that meanings are developed in coordination with others rather than separately within each individual. That is social constructionism. How culture affects the self? Okay, we have to check this. How culture affects the self? According to Sir Edward B. Tyler, the founder of cultural anthropology, classically defined culture as that complex whole which includes knowledge, beliefs, arts, morals, law, customs, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by, close and open practices, is a human as a member of society. So according to developmental psychologist Catherine Reif, that was written in 2010, culture can influence how you, your co-workers, and the families you serve, view, relationships, personality traits, achievements, expressing emotions. Okay? So, if we will see the, the culture wheel, let's check the culture wheel. We have the knowledge and stories. When we were child, we, when we were child, we were taught with stories and it was implanted in our brain okay could you imagine my my uh, teachers taught us during our elementary times that we came from ape we came from monkeys and generation after generation that monkey was developed and turned into a man okay and then language, 
We have our own language. We have our own dialects. And then we have traditions and rituals. Okay, we have traditions and rituals. So maybe those who are working in uh, Korea, maybe you are changing little by little your culture and traditions. Maybe you will return your culture when you go back to the Philippines. We have the techniques and skills as we acquired from schooling. The tools and objects. The arts. When we say arts, drama, film, singing, dancing, and others. The food and drinks. You know? When uh, before, I'm not eating kimchi. But now I love kimchi because of my Korean friends. When they invited me to eat in their house, kimchi is always present. No kimchi, no food. Kimchi is number one. Values. Okay, values. So we have our values. And then we have the greater community. This is the culture wheel. So, well, praise God, the Filipinos are easily adapting the cultures of other people. That's the good thing with the Filipinos. So, how culture affects the self? Could you imagine if you are uh, Maria in the Philippines, and you migrated in America, and then you come back in the Philippines. Your mother and your cousins told you, where is Maria? You are not talking because you are no longer Maria. You are Mary. Okay, I'm not Maria. I am Mary. Could you imagine? Okay. Um, you see? Your name is John. No, no. Your name is Juan. Your, your family name is Maglakad. Juan Maglakad. You went to America. When you come back, they are calling you Juan Maglakad. Where are you? You are not answering. Because you are no longer Juan Maglakad. You are now Johnny Walker. Could you imagine Johnny Walker? <laughs> Johnny Walker. Okay. There is one. And Maglakad, now you are no longer one Maglakad. You are now Johnny Walker. Could you imagine? Okay, so the culture. See the, uh, the, uh, the, the effects of the culture. You see? Again, brothers and sisters, so we have to check that. Looking glass self theory. So according to sociologist Charles Horton Coley, individuals develop their concept of self by observing how they perceive by others. A, a, a concept Coley coined as the looking glass self. The, glo the looking glass self describes the process wherein individuals base their sense of self on how they believe others view them. Using social interaction as a type of mirror, people use the judgments they receive from others to measure their own worth, values, and behavior. Again, you know, this is the problem of many people. Come again, this is the problem of many people. What is that? We are walking. We are living with the concept and idea of others. Listen to me carefully. Be careful of living with the concept and ideas of others. Just live according to your own standard. Just live according to our own belief. Live ac according to our own concept. Live according to what we know and what we believe. Okay? Don't follow the idea of others. When they said you are not, you are ugly and you believe that you and I are ugly. And yet, 
you are smart. Can you say what can you say about this please? Why people are that's why people are committing suicide. It is believe because because they are just believing what people say about themselves. Okay? Somebody can say something please? Somebody? Go ahead. Very true, very true, sir. Yeah, believe, go ahead. believe. Mm. you have to believe in yourself, believe in God, and uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Others, please, I want your idea because this is the problem of majority. Okay, for me, uh, yeah, Mom Pearl said that we must believe in ourselves. We need to listen to those what people say about us, but we don't need to follow what they everything tell us. We need to know ourselves. We need to listen ourselves. We need to listen somebody what they are talking or what they are advising to us. We need to follow if that words is good for us, mm -hmm. not to follow them if that words is against our personality. So mm -hmm. we need to listen some comments or opinion of others, but also we need to listen our own opinion and apply it in ourselves. So we we don't live for others. We don't we live for ourselves, not for others. For mm -hmm. my own opinion. Okay, go ahead. Others, please say something. Uh, for me, uh, as before uh, in the Philippines, um, we, uh, as 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 my childhood, my mother always said that. Ano na lang sa sabihin ng iba? Ano uh -oh. na sa sabihin na that's the that's my mother always said before. Mm -hmm. Na we care, we care of what others say. But yeah. for me, when I came here in Korea, uh, I I see that the that here is we have to. Uh, do whatever we want, and we doesn't care of in, of of others. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that is the problem, especially if we are living in the remote areas. Um, we are just always thinking about what people it tells about us, and we are just following that. Okay, when your uh, when your father tells you, don't go to college, especially if you are a, ma a woman, just wait. Be let the man, your husband, will be the one to take care of the family. You see that principle that what uh, we are believing. Well, praise God, we are changing, right? We are changing. Okay, we are changing. Others who want to say something, please. Okay. How about the others? Because, you know, um, this is really the problem of today. Um, let's talk about this. Uh, the self as a product of modern society. The self as a product of modern society, where we are living now, because we are now living in the new, in the modern society. Let's check about the sociological perspective. Your personal and social identity is never static, but this doesn't mean you are constantly revising who you are according to how you feel. Just because you adopt a new passion style or a color way of talking doesn't mean that your personal and social identity has substantially changed. These are purely cosmetic or outer changes and more likely reflect other aspects of yourself than to truly indicate a change in core self-identity. You see, so we have to check this. 
uh, we have to because nowadays we are living in uh, a modern society. We are living in this so-called uh, um, what do you call that? Because we are now living, especially if you are living in Manila, if you are living in uh, the city, everything well, changed. Yeah. yeah, everything yeah. changed. Yeah. You are not. You are no longer. Uh, that's why uh, the father said, "You have to study to to her daughter. To uh, you have to study how to cook." The daughter said, "No need, Papa. We can easily uh, order in Jalebi. We can easily order in um, McDo." <laughs> Okay, we can easily order, uh, or we have noodles. We have, could you imagine nowadays? Could you imagine? Okay. Um, after uh, after one minute, we will be cut off. But uh, uh, just go back to the uh, same uh, uh, same link. Uh, I will open my uh, uh, cell phone uh, because I will. Uh, I will record the this. So again, brothers and sisters, what we are studying is our self. Is our self. Okay? Is our self. So you have to... Uh, how can I say this? We have to see the mirror. Are we really the one? Are we living with our own self or we are living with the words and idea of others? So we have to check that, please. Okay, we have to check that. Because it's not good. It's not good. Okay, it's not good. This is the problem of today. That's why there are many young people who commit suicide. It is because... They are listening to the words of others. Okay. Again, uh, we will come back after. No, no. I, I will open my cell phone and then we will go to our cell phone. I'm just uh, saying goodbye to this uh, lesson uh, for the sake of recording. Thank you for those who are viewing this uh, subject. I hope you learn many things about understanding the self hoping that you will examine and review about yourself and myself knowing are we really are we